everyone and welcome back to Erica's Tea Room. I'm Erica Shanoff and I'm here with my mother Lila. Hi everybody and welcome back to Not Your Grandmother's Tea Party. We are just back from our trip to New Jersey and we're excited because it's a reboot week. Reboot. Re. Re. I'm going to give her the boot. <laughs> no, it's a reboot. So we just got back and we have visited one of our personally favorite tea rooms in New Jersey. We've been going there for almost 30 years. One of their sandwiches was a caramel apple sandwich. And so we are going to be making caramel apple. What was it? It was a cream cheese and apple sandwich. Okay, we are bringing it back today and rebooting it in our own way by making it a caramel apple sandwich. <laughs> this is a great fall recipe or any time. It was our favorite thing on the high tea that we had there. So we're going to be using raisin bread. This is cinnamon raisin bread because it's got the cinnamon swirls. It got cinnamon swirls. We're going to do three different versions. Yes. So the first one, I'm going to just take the bread and cut off the crusts because we're not going to eat the crusts. It's the unwanted elements. Yeah. So I'm cutting off all the crusts and then I'm going to make it on an angle. So that is my first, I don't like this piece of crust on there. My first sandwich is gonna be like that. And if this is a little too big for you, you can again do another slice and make it into two smaller triangles. It's a perfect size for a little one sandwich. And actually that was the size of the sandwich that was on the high tea that we had. So that's so, my first one. That's your first one. Now then, these are my um, scone, Cutters. But the smaller ones to make the little baby scones. So these are the, the scone baby size. So I'm going to do from this one, I'm going to take two of the babies. Okay. And make those baby ones. And they're now, almost ruffled around the edge, so it'll kind of look like a little flower. And if it doesn't come out all the way, a little trick of the trade, push it all the way through like I just did from the back. And then we can have, oops, let's take actually a piece off, take another one. So we're going <laughs> to do two of the little round baby sandwiches, okay. right? And then I'm going to need two more breads for the bigger ones. Okay, two more. And I have to say, this is my favorite um, raisin bread. I love this. She'll use this to make a cinnamon French toast. And or it's one of my personal bread favorite pudding. things. Or a bread pudding. So don't get rid of my ends because I'm going to use every bit of this to make bread pudding. So there's no waste. No, no. Why should you waste this good stuff? And if you prefer a different type of raisin bread, you absolutely can substitute it for your favorite. So now they have all kinds of different um, varieties. Oh, absolutely. They have a maple one that's very good too for this, but I didn't want to add too much of flavor, too much of a good thing. And you saw how I put through that, that through both of them. <laughs> and then I had my little bread in between. And almost like a little pocket. So that's going to be my third sandwich. And we're not going to get rid of any of that because we're going to use that all for Bread pudding. Bread okay. pudding. I took a half of a uh, eight ounce whipped cream. cream cheese. So about four ounces. Yes. Well, half of eight ounces, Erica. Just in case you're not sure, I can do simple math. Very simple. So I'm going to add some caramel to this. Now you can add honey, yes. cinnamon. You could add. Why are you laughing at cinnamon. me? Cinnamon. I'm allergic to cinnamon. You could add some honey and some walnuts. Yes, so if you want a little bit more of a chunk, absolutely add some walnuts, pecans, whatever you float your boat. But we're just going to keep it simple and add some caramel. So I'm going to sp spread it on both halves, okay? Because we want a lot. The one thing that we found lately when we go to tea rooms is they're very chintzy with what they put inside. And we like um, a gazinta sandwich. Gazinta means big, <laughs> huge. We're the Big Mac, um, the Big Mac culture. <laughs> big gulp, Big Mac. <laughs> you know, you go to some of them and you say, okay, what's on this bread? <laughs> <laughs> a long while ago, we went to a tea room and we were trying to figure out what was on one of the sandwiches. It was a little rectangle like this. And the woman said it was chicken salad, but I could swear it was, it was tuna. tuna. <laughs> tuna. Erica said, no, it's tuna. So I said, no, Erica, it was something else. So <laughs> it would taste like fish, it looks like chicken. Anyhow, with that said, I look how nice. I'm just getting all the cream cheese on all my different breads. 
And then I'm going to go show you how to use the man mandolin. You made a mess. That's why I gave you those paper towels, Erica, so I can have something to wipe my hands in. Okie dokie. Yeah. And be free. Use as much as you want. Don't be chintzy with your spreads. You want to taste Everything. all the different all elements. elements. Mm -hmm. You want to taste all the different layers. And really, really bothers me when you have a tea sandwich and all you taste is the bread. The bread is an add-on, an enhancement. Okay, with Erica, <laughs> before she hits anybody or me. So I'm taking a yellow delicious apple. For this, you want a sweet apple. So Macintosh, yellow delicious, something that's a sweet apple. Um, a gala is a good apple. And this is my mandolin. So you have the different sizes. I want to do it at the thinnest side. Snap it in. And this blade is very, very sharp. So do not try this at home unless you feel comfortable. I wouldn't let Erica do this, let's put it that way. I'm only peeling a the piece. section that I'm doing, so I have a nice firm grasp on the rest of the apple, because you don't need a lot of apple here. And then you can put this aside and have the rest of the apple later as and a snack. This is something that we're going to do and we would make right before we're going to serve it, because we don't like um, adding lemon juice to the apple to change the flavor. And you would have to add something to it to keep it nice and fresh looking, not turn brown. So we're gonna do this so as look, soon as we're gonna eat it. That sandwich, you're done. Look how it fit right on, cover it up, and now you have that one apple sandwich. This really fits here, <laughs> the smaller one. And let me just do one more slice for the other small one. So see, I wanted to be the right size. All I had to do was use that again, and look how pretty that is. It's a nice little ruffle little rufflet, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna put that one over there. And that's my second one. And if you wanna get more of a bite, you can go with a thicker apple slice, but it's just to get that beautiful, apple. fresh flavor. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, so I could do my triangle to fit my sandwich. Okay. And it's almost, you know what? It can go over a little bit. Not more the merrier. It can stick out a side or two. Look how nice that fit though. It does not, does not show. No, you can use your little bits and piece your bits together if you want to. Or, or you can you, give yourself another nice little slice. If you're anal like I am, <laughs> you can okay. cut your nice little slice and eat your little ends. Look how nice. So here's all your little sandwiches. Nice sweet apple, right? Nice sweet apple. This is a really nice sandwich if you're gonna do a tea service in the morning. And with the caramel, it's perfect for the fall flavors, a caramel apple sandwich, like a caramel apple. Yeah, and I think the caramel in the cream cheese adds a lot to this. And you see, I'm trying to stack them up very nicely so you can see all three, right? Absolutely. Now, what kind of tea did we have? So with the caramel cream cheese, chocolate we caramel. decided to have a chocolate caramel black tea. Look at the beautiful flowers. It's pieces of cocoa nibs in there and that beautiful dry black tea leaves. Let's see how it brews. Oh, look at that. It brews to a beautiful golden brown, always with a red tinge. That's the perfect cup of black tea right there. I smell the chocolate. It's very, very chocolate filled. And it is, you taste the chocolate, you taste the caramel. It's gonna be a perfect compliment. Which one do I get to try? One of the little ones. One of the little ones? Try. Hello. Hello, baby. I go to eat you. <laughs> so what do you think? She, she can take a little bite. This is the perfect time for me because this way I can get all the words in edgewise where Erica cannot, cannot do it. It is layers of flavor. So you taste the cinnamon and the raisins in your bread. You get the caramel, that creamy caramel with the cream cheese. And then that sweet tartness of your apple. And it's so it's a perfect bite all right there in your little tea sandwich. Two little biter. And it is a perfect reboot recipe. As always, we wish you good scones with good tea and good friends. And always remember, memories are made with every cup. Tune in next week for another recipe here at Erica's Tea Room. And it's not your grandmother's tea party. She didn't let me say that because I always screw it up. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.